Uh, what's up guys you are welcome to femtech studio so in today's video i will show you how to activate a two-step verification a lot of people have been asking how can they activate the abusha authenticator with the authenticator app okay so for example when we open up the abusha okay so once the picture is open and you click on this button here okay and you click you scroll down you will see the two-factor authenticator disabled this simply means you can fund your wallet or you can transfer it out okay you can use it to receive money but you can't transfer it out if the uh, if your account is not verified and secondly if your authenticator is disabled so this account as you can see level and limit is uh, verified now so that's why if you see upgrade to this is in level 2 presently and it says upgrade to level 3 which means this account is verified all right so the last thing to do is to enable the authenticator all right now that's why you will need to make use of uh, this this application google authenticator okay google authenticator there are other authenticator app but this is the one that works with busha google authenticator you can look at the icon okay so it's also available for android users and ios users all right so let's get started shall we now you open up busha so after open up busha now if the account is not yet verified you see this okay and sometimes you might not see it again all you need to go to do is to click on this icon scroll down and select to authenticator then the next thing to do is to select enable to fa okay so for quickly the email you use to register that account this account on busha the email is sent to that uh, account a code is sent to that email so we need to copy it so once copied the code then we paste the code and so let's continue okay now this key you see is your phrase key that you need to keep very well okay and the reason why i'm saying this is because for example if you misplace your phone then you can't have access to your busha wallet if you have funds on it so in order for you to have access to it back again is for you to get this code open up the new phone download busha download your authenticator copy this phrase of key into that authenticator then it will generate the same uh, normal string it generates for you on your old phone that was misplaced then you can use it to have access to your account because immediately you log out or you try to log in into a new phone it will request for a six digit code authenticator okay which means this code you have here is what you use you need to keep it well so that no one will have access to it because if someone have access to this code you could see it means that person will have access to your uh, your busha accounts if the person knows your login details and also have access to this string of code so you need to keep it very well and that's why you see uh, i made the string this code I uh, make it blur so that 
I won't I don't want it to be leaked out because of I'm actually open opening this account or verifying this doing this enabling this to FA for a for someone. So I have to make the person account be safe. Okay. Now the next thing to do now is if you see we have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is about uh, 32 uh, key. Okay, they are strings. So, like I said, you need to keep it very, 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 very. Well. Now, the next thing to do now is to take this string of codes. We transfer it to the. Uh, we connect our account with the authenticator. Then the authenticator will produce six digit code for us, which we will then input back into Busha. And by doing so, it means the account is now what. Once we do it successfully, the two-step verification will be en en enabled. So let's continue. So by doing so, so let's tap to copy. Remember I said you should keep the string very well. So to let tap to copy, then uh, we minimize this and open up. Okay, and we minimize that and open up the authenticator. So. From the authenticator open, this is what you see. Then select get started. You because we are giving a key, so it's the key we use, not this uh, the scan QR. So let the scan the key. Then you could just name this, okay? Just name it as uh, Busha. So for you to uh, Busha, sorry. Yes. Just name it as Busha. Then on this place here, you hold down and paste that key. Paste the copied key. Okay. Then select add. Now you can see. So this is the uh, six digit code. Also, it is blocked. But it's going to give you a six digit code which it generates for you. Are you with me? And like I said initially, once the code is, uh, once you misplace your phone and you see have access to that 32 uh, phrase of keys, you can thus open a new authenticator, click on get started, just like the way I just did, select Busha and input those code there, then you would have your, your uh, authenticator code back again, okay? So now notes, this thing change every uh, 15 seconds. Or should I say every 30 seconds or 60 seconds, it changes. So once this is a timer that that changes, that that make it change. So if you look at it, it is changing. Okay. So we've only uh, copied the the phrase of key from Busha onto our authenticator. Now we need to now copy this authenticator code back to our our Busha to make it enabled. Now to do that first. We need to go back to the Busha account. That is by selecting on, on the minimize button. Okay, then open up. All right, so from what you can see now, once it's done successfully, you can see it now says enabled. So which means that um, your account is now ready to transfer and withdraw. Okay, accept and withdraw any, any form of cryptocurrency and also convert your money to Nera and withdraw it into your local bank account. All right, guys. So if you have any question on uh, Busha or the mining or crypto world, please leave a qu your question in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, please kindly click on the subscribe button and like my video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye for now. One love.